Hey guys, and welcome to another challenge video, because I am a masochist. Now today's challenge is brought to you from my good friend Sam. Some of you may remember her. She was featured on this channel before as Drawing is Fun, we did a collab, and she's done some pretty awesome fan art of Ash before. If you're interested in her work, you can find her on YouTube and DeviantArt as Jaded Illustrator. Sam, have I mentioned how much I love that name? Anywho, on DeviantArt, she dared challenge me to what she has called the No Pen Sensitivity Challenge. For simplicity's sake, because that's too long of a title for me to type into YouTube, I'm just gonna dub it the No Pressure Challenge. So what are the rules of this challenge? Well, exactly like the title says, no pen sensitivity, so you gotta turn that stuff off. So as you can see, I'm doodling a bunch of lines and I'm pressing as hard as I can and as soft as I can and the line is not changing thickness. It should be a lot more wibbly wobbly, but it's more squiggly than anything else. Don't mind me, this is just me making perfect sense. Have I mentioned I've taken art classes before? <laughs> but because Sam and I are like best friends now, she added special rules just for me. Thanks a bunch, Sam. So, my extra rules, no line smoothing, so I can't delete extra control points in a raster layer if I think a line looks bumpy, and no line tool. So if I have issues drawing a line, I can't just cheat with my usual methods. Dang it. If you don't know what I'm talking about, normally I do my line work in a raster layer, so each line has these little dots that you can pick up and move and change the thickness of, delete, etc. Just watch one of my other videos and you'll probably see me use it once or twice or the entire video. <clears throat> now, as an added layer of fun, I need to make this look like a good old-fashioned anime screenshot. As I'm sure some of you can imagine, I'm having a total ball with this. It's so much fun, and I'm totally not stressed out at all by it. This is gonna look like crap, isn't it? I swear, this is taking me right back to my middle school days before I knew how to art and everything just looked bad and bases and ugh. I'm getting cringy old art flashbacks. I know, I'm sorry, I know 2017 killed the word cringe, but I have no other words able to properly convey that feeling. So when Sam did this challenge, she made this more dramatic scene with one of her characters from this really awesome project she's been working on that I seriously cannot wait for you guys to see. It's gonna be so flippin' cool. So I figured, you know, I'd better make a dramatic scene too, just to keep things a bit more consistent. Now, I didn't want anything that's got major spoilers from the comic or anything. I don't want to give away a major plot twist and a speed paint that might be a little bit of a waste. So I figured I'd keep it a bit more mild here. As those who are following along in the comic have guessed, Ash wasn't born with fox ears and magical powers. It's something she acquires, though it's not exactly in the best circumstances. And yes, I am still working on the comic. I didn't just drop it. I swear, I have a lot on my plate, okay? I'm just sorry. But I figure this isn't too much of a spoiler here. Literally, as soon as I released the page with Ash's human self, before all the magic and everything happened, just about everyone was all, oh geez, I wonder who that is, wink wink, nudge nudge. To be fair, I did make it pretty obvious, I just want to get into the action and the magic already. So don't worry, not all the characters are going to be that easy to guess. Anyway, the scene I'm portraying isn't exactly like how it happens in the comic, there's some minor differences, so if anything, consider this more of a rough draft or a concept of this scene. Also, fair warning, there is some blood in this at the end. The drawing isn't as gory as the actual comic scene is going to be, but there's going to be a little bit. I don't want to get demonetized, and I already told everyone the comic on Topastic is going to be more gory than what's on my DeviantArt, so this version is going to be toned down just a few notches. Can you tell I've been avoiding talking about the actual speed paint yet? Yeah, I was a little, kinda, sort of, a lot stressed out with this. Fun fact, line art is my least favorite part of making illustrations. Don't get me wrong, I can still have fun with it, but whenever I don't have the comfort of my usual tips and tricks, I get a little anxious. Line art used to take me hours to do before I figured out all the stuff that I have now. I have no idea how people can just draw perfect line art so easily and quickly, and I hate you guys. It's a loving hate, don't get me wrong, but I still hate you guys. Obviously, with a raster layer, things are way easier and mistakes are much easier to correct, but not here. Normally, I can work from a pretty messy sketch. The only times I really clean up a sketch is when I'm showing it to a client for commission progress, or I just intend to leave it as a sketch. But here, I wanted to work from the cleanest sketch possible so I wouldn't have any issues later. Looking back, I think the anatomy was a little bit weird, but eh, that wasn't really my main concern here. 
I was more worried about blending things properly when I can't use a light touch and making sure that my coloring looked okay. It's funny, I guess my muscle memory kicked in because I kept using lighter heavy touches and then I forgot I had the pen sensitivity turned off and then I was all, why is there anything working? Oh yeah, never mind. I was so happy I got a commission in the middle of this, I got to enjoy my pen sensitivity again. Until I had to turn it back off to get back to this. Eh. Oh, and while I have you all here, it seems necessary to give you guys an update on GBD. No, it is coming back, I promise. I know a lot of people are probably upset that it's taking so long, but I'm actually kind of glad that it is. I've been in contact with a lot of talented people who have really been helping me out. I've gotten some amazing backgrounds, some animation, and I'm really excited for when it all comes together. At this moment, the only things left are a few more emotes for my avatar, one super amazing background, and a totally awesome animation, so it's getting there, don't worry. I told you guys I wanted to bring you the best quality content that I could, and that's something I fully intend to do. I even managed to take another art studies class this last semester, so I have a bit more knowledge under my belt for when I start critiquing again. I know it sucks for those of you who have been really waiting, but I don't want to give you some half-butt video that's all shambled together and it's just a huge mess. That's what my normal videos are for. Nah, I'm just joking. So I didn't forget about you all, I promise. I've actually considered starting a Twitch account or something so you guys can get a bit more content in between things. Or who knows, maybe even live stream critiques, I have no idea what I'm doing. I know I was supposed to start live streaming forever ago and I never did and I've been pushing it off so you guys won't see how awkward I am whenever I don't have the power of editing behind me, so uh, yeah. That'll be fun whenever I start doing that. So I mean, let me know if you guys are interested in that, I, I don't know why you'd want to watch me babble around like that, but whatever. I've also had a few requests to start doing an OC review series as well, but I'm still kind of studying the art of character and character design, so I don't know if I'm the most knowledgeable on that, but I mean, if you guys are interested, I can give it a shot. Anywho, that about wraps up this speed paint. Thank you all so much for watching this far. I especially want to thank those of you who are supporting me on Patreon or through commissions. Whether you're giving a little or a lot, it really does mean a ton to me. So thank you guys so much. Well, I've got a few more videos planned before this year is out, so I'll see you guys again soon. Bye for now.